Hello and welcome to Thought for August the 21st. Our readings are 1 Kings chapter 16, Jeremiah chapter 42, and Mark chapter 16. And our thought is, The Lord your God. Jeremiah tells us that after all the important people were taken away to Babylon, those who remained in Judah were in disarray. The person the Babylonians had put in charge, Gedaliah, had been murdered, and others also, as we read in chapter 41, verses 1 through to 8. The murderers fled to the Ammonites, we read in verse 15. Today's chapter, 42, tells us how the remaining people, from the least to the greatest, came near and said to Jeremiah the prophet, Let our plea for mercy come before you, and pray to the Lord your God for us, that the Lord your God may show us the way that we should go. Verses 1 to 3. Notice they see the Lord as Jeremiah's God, not as theirs. Jeremiah responds by saying to them, I will pray to the Lord your God according to your request. And whatever the Lord answers you, I will tell you. I will keep nothing back from you. Verse 4. Then they said to Jeremiah, May the Lord be a true and faithful witness against us if we do not act according to all the word with which the Lord your God sends you to us, whether it is good or bad. Verses 5 and 6. Then at last they accept the Lord as their God, that it may be well with us when we obey the voice of the Lord our God. Verse 7. Ten days later, Jeremiah receives the word of the Lord and summoned all the people from the least to the greatest. We read in verse 8. The message is that they, that if they remain in Judah, then I will build you up, I will plant you. Do not fear the king of Babylon, I will grant you mercy. Verses 10 to 12. He warns them that to go to Egypt will be a disaster. Well, tomorrow's chapter will start by telling us the sequel. When Jeremiah had finished speaking, all the insolent men said, you are telling a lie, verses 1 and 2. And all the people did not obey the voice of the Lord. We read in verse 4. Sadly, we can make a comparison of this with the attitude of many to the Bible. So many look to try to find what they want to believe, like believing they go to heaven when they die, to a kingdom in heaven and not on this earth and turn away from those who tell them otherwise. The Bible is the source of all truth. Let us read it ever more diligently and keep bringing its true message to others. And even though they may say, you are telling a lie, we must do this because the Lord is our God. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.